Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I decided to do a get ready with me video because I know that some of you might have a date night coming up with Valentine's Day coming. So I'm gonna show you how I did this kind of like light, smoky kind of eyeshadow look and a full foundation, get full coverage, and how to get nice big hair. But before I do that, let me tell you about what I'm wearing. This dress is from Fashion Q. It was about 25 bucks, so it's really cheap. And it has really, really nice embroidery of some bling. You guys know I like my bling. But I will show you a full picture of how this looks on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram right now at Ms. Bianca Renee. So now let me show you how I made this look. So starting off, the only thing on my face right now is this moisturizer by B Nigma, and I also put on some chapstick by Baby Lips to get my lips nice and moisturized before I move on to lipstick. Now I'm going to spray some of this MAC Prep and Prime spray. I've seen this on a lot of videos, so I decided to try it for the first time today, so we'll see. Once that's dry, we're going to add some NYX Pore Filler, which is going to help minimize the look of my large pores and add a really nice base before I use my foundation. Another new product that I got is the MAC Prep and Prime in the color Peach Luster, which is this peachy color that's going to really help color correct under my eyes. So I have really dark circles and this is going to cover them up even more. So shout out to Jackie O who recommended this product and she also suggests that you just cover only your dark circles and dark spots. Don't bring it down like a triangle like you would when you highlight. So my camera kind of cut out, but I'm showing you where I applied to any dark spots on my face. And then once you do that, you're just gonna pat it and blend it in, making it much easier to cover up those blemishes. Now I'm gonna grab my new favorite foundation, which is by L'Oreal. It's their Infallible Matte, and it has such good coverage and it lasts all day long. It's really good for those of us that have oily skin because it really does keep you matte. So I just applied it to my face, and I'm using a flat kabuki brush to blend this all in. The handle broke off, but I kind of like it this way. I then grabbed my concealer by MAC, and this is the color NC42. And I also have a flat brush like this one. None of my brushes are brand name, so can't really help you on that one. But I'm gonna use this to highlight under my eyes. And I'm also going to then bring this down the bridge of my nose. A little bit on my forehead and then add some to my cupid's bow and my chin. And lastly, I'm gonna do it on my eyelids and this is gonna really brighten up your eyes. Then, once you look like a tribal queen, you're gonna grab your beauty blender. This one is by Revive Beauty. This is just a little, probably three or five dollar one I got from TJ Maxx. And I really like this beauty blender because it has a point to it, which really helps get into the inner creases of my eyes and does a really good job at blending out all of my concealer. To set my highlight, I'm going to be using this banana powder by Ben Nye and a regular kabuki brush. And I honestly was kind of hesitant to buy this powder at first because it is kind of pricey, but I bought mine on Amazon for a little bit cheaper, but it honestly is going to last you forever. I bought this maybe two years ago and I'm not even halfway through the bottle. And I spilled most of it one day, which you might have seen on Snapchat. But it does such a good job at blending your concealer and really highlighting under your eyes and it's definitely my favorite powder to use for setting. Goodbye dark circles. Now I'm gonna grab my powder, which is L'Oreal's True Match in the color W7, and I'm using this brush from e.l.f., which is their powder brush, and I'm gonna apply this to set my foundation any place that we aren't highlighting. Moving on to eyebrows, I'm going to grab this brush by Sina and first brush my eyebrows to get the perfect shape. And then I'm going to grab this pencil by NYC in the color brown and I'm going to draw on underneath my eyebrows to get that nice curved shape. I really want to try the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but this one is like a dollar, so we're going to have to stick with this one for now. After you outline your eyebrows, you're going to just do small little strokes to fill in any kind of like bald spots. And then you're going to flip the brush and blend, blend, blend. I then grab my MAC concealer once again and it's going to really clean up underneath my eyebrows and then blend that away as well. This will give you a more defined looking brow. And then you're gonna do the same thing on top, doing a nice line of concealer and then blending it out. <laughs> Grabbing my favorite palette by NYX, this is their highlight and contour palette. I'm gonna go ahead with this lighter brown here in the corner, 
and I'm gonna use this as my base for my lid. So apply this all over your lid and blend in the corners and the crease. I then grabbed this eyeshadow by NYX in the color Purple Heart, which is like a shimmer purple color, and I'm going to press this into my crease. Then I grabbed another color by NYX, this is a shimmer gold color called Liquid Gold, and I'm going to press this onto the bottom of my eyelid using a flat brush. And then continue to do the same thing on the other side. Once it was all finished, I decided to add a little bit more brown to the top, so I just went back in with the NYX palette and added a little bit more to the top to make it stand out. Now for liner, I'm gonna be using the Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid Liner. I love how it has such a sharp point to it, which gives a more precise wing. And I like to bring it out, and then I bring it back down and make a little triangle. Then you just fill that in, and then bring it across your line. This is the easiest way that I've learned to make some nice wings. Obviously, practice makes perfect. To outline my eyes, I'm going to use the Milani Liquid Eye. This eyeliner is really easy to apply. I'm going to apply on the bottom and the top. And then I'm going to grab a skinny flat brush just like this and I'm going to grab that same purple eyeshadow to add some more color underneath our eyes and we're just going to pat this right underneath your liner. For my mascara, I'm going to grab my favorite, which is the Miss Manga Voluminous by L'Oreal. It's their blackest black mascara. And it just really adds some length to my natural lashes. To contour, I'm going to grab my NYX palette once again. I'm using a blush brush by e.l.f. And I like to mix this darkest brown and the lightest brown together. I don't know why, it's just kind of my thing. And then I'm going to slightly dust this along my cheeks to add some dimension to my face. I'm also going to contour on the top of my head, which will make your forehead look a little bit smaller and also just add some color to your forehead and underneath your chin, making you have a very slim looking face. Then you grab your powder brush again and blend all that out. And for some extra highlight, I'm gonna go back with this yellow color in the palette and look how much this really brightens up your face. I am in love with this palette, and this highlight just really adds some extra brightness to under your eyes, your forehead, and your nose. I got this cute new brush from TJ Maxx today. It was about eight bucks. I just love the handle on it. And I'm gonna use this just to blend everything together and remove any excess powder. And to line my lips, I'm using this Santee lip pencil. It's in the color Wood Rose. It was probably like a dollar. And then I'm gonna grab this ColourPop Stingray, which is my favorite color from ColourPop right now, which was made by It's My Ray Ray. Make sure you guys follow her videos as well. And now let's give some life to this hair. I'm gonna make it as big as I possibly can. I'm just gonna grab my pick and just go underneath and just stretch those curls as much as you can. And voila, the finished look with the makeup and the hair. So that is how I got ready today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. You also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee, and I post new videos every single Sunday. So I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Oh,